crew what's up guys so coming to y'all from <clears throat> northeast texas about six hours away from austin uh, it's my hometown where i grew up um out here at my dad's place uh he's got a lot of land out here well not a lot he's got about eight or ten acres so um but <clears throat> came up here Adrian and i came up here with tristan um drove up last thursday and Sunday night now, so we'll be home tomorrow. I'll be back in the gym on Tuesday. But um, anyways, so I'm just kind of cruising around the property out here. Um, you can kind of see behind me, this is kind of what we're looking at. This is about, I don't know, you see a fence line back there, kind of the edge of the property. But this is um, <clears throat> about five or six acres up here that he lives on. And he's got another, I don't know, eight or ten down the street. But um, And there's a barn back here somewhere. Yeah, there's a barn right there. And some horse stables in there and stalls and whatnot like that. But anyways, um, so tomorrow, guys, Monday, back to the front squat, back squat cycle. Um, one plus two, so we'll go back up the ladder. Two weeks ago, we did one plus two. Uh, so the goal tomorrow would be to be heavier tomorrow than you were two weeks ago. If you remember last week, we actually had the squat clean, seeing how the front squat translated to... Um, the squat clean but back to the actual uh strength portion front squat back squat tomorrow also tomorrow the athlete of the month wad josh myers so really um fun little imam that we put together for tomorrow so um yeah looking forward to that another piece of big news <clears throat> is that you know a couple weeks ago we had some information come out about coach callie about how she was um kind of stepping back, taking a, a, a step back to kind of focus on herself and focus on her family a little bit. And, you know, that she was going to step away from CrossFit classes and she was going to coach the hardcore cardio class for the remainder of the month. Well, after a couple weeks of coaching only the hardcore cardio class, she's made the decision to continue to do that, which is great news. That we still get to have her around and coaching the hardcore cardio class. Nathan will continue to coach the 515 or the sorry, the 5 a.m. Monday, Wednesday, Friday class. So no changes there, but this is obviously uh, great news. That way she's able to um, kind of stay in the mix, fill her uh, a coaching passion bucket by staying on with hardcore cardio. She stays in the mix of the coaches, um, stays in the routine, stays in the schedule. Um, but yeah, good news all the way around. So like I said, staying away, she's she's going to continue to coach the hardcore cardio class. Um, but, um, not but. And last thing I want to talk about is that when we came up here, we left Austin, and we didn't bring one ounce of exercise equipment with us. We were like, you know what, if we do something, it'll be body weight stuff, it'll be pretty light but if we don't do anything at all for four or five days then maybe it's just the rest that our body needs um well having done that i mean leaving with no equipment we uh, oh yeah look man now i'm front lit so you can see me a little bit better should have turned this way the whole time but anyways point is that we got up here and we're like you know what let's do some workouts well there are some dumbbells up here around the house so I think there was, we had two 15s and two 20s. So a lot lighter than Adrian and I would normally use. We had no jump rope. We had one yoga mat and there was one 20 pound kettlebell. So we put together a few things. My dad's got probably about a, I don't know. I'm looking at it right now. So about a 70 or 80 yard driveway. So a couple of the workouts that Adrian and I came up with were higher rep because the weight was so low, we came up with higher rep dumbbell snatches. We came up with body weight walking lunges. We came up with handstand walks down the driveway, down the driveway, back and forth. My dad up here yelling at me, look, he's uh, back there carrying a plastic swimming pool that Tristan was uh, swimming in. So, um, but yeah, we came up with walking lunges, uh, high rep, low weight dumbbell snatches and handstand walk partner wads. So, um, and then today we did goblet squats, we did devil's presses, we did uh, push-ups, hollow rocks, and running with bicep curls, obviously. Um, 
But the point of this thing is that we came up here not knowing what equipment we would have. We came up here not knowing if we were going to, how we would work out, if at all. And we basically kind of, you know, it was the unknown, the, unknow uh, the unknowable. Um, we did some, some, some rep schemes and some volume of reps and weight that we don't normally do. So uh, it's just kind of unknown and unknowable, constantly varied. That's kind of uh, two of the main parts of the CrossFit definition. Um, so it was great. Um, and, and, and we were definitely outside of our, our, our normal workout environment. And it's just been really great to be able to, um, kind of come up with workouts on the fly and kind of see what we're made of a little bit and not have to worry about, Oh my God, which bar do I have? What weights are loaded? What, um, what pull up bar do I have? We just weren't able to do any of that stuff. But we still got our fitness in. We still got like, back here in the woods a little bit now. We still were able to get our fitness in, and it was a lot more of a. Um, it was a lot more enjoyable than Adrian and I both thought it was going to be going into it. So again, um, I feel like I'm kind of rambling here, but that's kind of my mo a little bit. But um, don't don't take it too seriously, guys. It's it's just a workout. The gym is the perfect scenario to get this thing done, but if you're trying to pick up the pieces when you're out of town and you don't have a lot of equipment, it's not rocket science, okay? It's really not. Move a little bit. If you don't have the right weights that you normally would use, then that's fine. I would normally snatch a 50-pound dumbbell, snatch a 20. I would normally do devil's presses with, like, 40s. Um, what? Get coverage out there? Oh, I'm just taking a video. My dad. No clue what's going on. Um... Normally do devil's presses with 40s or so. Did them with 20, did them with uh, 20s. Um, pretty much used a 20 for everything. Um, and it obviously wasn't super heavy, but we compensated with higher rep schemes. So uh, in a situation like that, we just let the intensity um, happen because the volume of reps. So um, anyways, it's possible, it's fun, and it's definitely a doable thing for when you're out of town. So guys, um, Seven and a half minutes in here. I'll cut this thing off. We're driving by tomorrow, or driving home tomorrow. We'll see you guys on Tuesday. Um, good luck. Happy Sunday evening to y'all. Finish it off. Watch the Olympics. Watch Simone Biles. Watch the gymnastics. All right. You guys have been doing CrossFit. You know the type of um, intensity and the type of uh, dedication it takes to achieve a bunch of the stuff that they're doing. So uh, get out there, cheer for the U.S., and uh, we'll see you guys this week. All right. Let us know what you need. Love you guys.